Hi guys, so today's gonna be an in-depth video about how I will package and how I make my wigs and you know the price points and all that good stuff. I'm gonna try to hit on every single question that you might have and if you're wondering <laughs> about this hair, look at the little, uh, it was a big swoop up there but it, <laughs> um, this is actually from Modern Show. Uh, I did a review on this hair and it was like in the picture it was super it was way shorter because it was curly but what I did was it's a loose it was loose wave and I took a brush and just brushed it all out because I wanted like a I don't know I really like this <laughs> I wanted like a little kind of a puffy um, not straight kind of wavy hair style going on but let me go ahead and get into how I construct my wigs and then I'll get into the packaging um, and mine is not like the best up here right now because I'm putting on different wigs because I'm doing a lot of videos today <laughs> all right so all I need is this and let me get this all right one second all right so my wigs are constructed on dome caps and this is the cap right here and it's the Titan Classic Dome Cap. It's spandex. It's thick. It's sturdy. Ultra stretch. And it says that it fits all sizes and it actual keep, actually keeps tight. And it is in black. Um, so that's what I constructed on. Once I'm done constructing the wig um, and I'm ready to put it on my website, I don't cut the lace off. As you will see, this is a recent wig that I've just completed. Um... The lace stays on until you decide to cut it off. Okay, I don't customize the part. Most of the parts that I, most of the wigs that I construct are free parts, so that the customer and I can have a choice of how I want to wear it instead of having it already a middle part or already a side part. It's a free part, so you can customize that yourself. Um. Oh, sorry. So it is on a dumb cap. We'll let you see the inside of that. Um. Okay, uh, for the custom wigs, I do single wefts. I don't do double wefts. So my hair for my wigs and units, I do double weft just to for it to be faster and just because it's my head and if a track gets loose, I can always go do it. But if I'm selling a customer a wig, I don't want them to have to worry about that. So I do single wefts so that it'll last longer. And this will stay on your head without a spandex. I don't do wig combs because I love my edges, okay? <laughs> Just to let you guys know. So, I don't put wig combs in it. This actually stays on my head. This is really sturdy without an elastic band. But I do give the customer the option of whether or not they want to have an elastic band on their wigs. So, what I would ask you is, how? what's the circumference of your head? And to get your circumference, you can just take a measuring tape, okay? Take it all the way around your head and tell me the number. And I will kind of round it up. So, if it's like a... 24 but an extra extra large is a 23 I would just say okay it's around an extra large and um and because I'm not doing like a com you know you guys get it I can customize it if your head is a little bit bigger than an extra large you can just type that in the box okay it is a mandatory field that you do have to fill out when you're ordering a wig so I take the circumference of your head Usually my closures are lace closures and they're me they measure, I'm going to start doing frontals, but they measure about four by four or five by five. So once you tell me, okay, my head is 25 inches, I'll then take five inches off for the, um, to take off the space of the closure. Okay. Cause you won't have this in the spandex. What am I saying? <laughs> you won't have the elastic band on this part of your closure. It'll just be from air, not here, here. From temple, basically around to temple. If you guys understand what I'm saying, I hope it's not confusing, but it is a lot of things to touch on when I'm talking about this topic. So, I will take off the five inches for the space of the closure, and then I'll take off an additional three to five inches so that it'll actually be secure and tight, not too tight to give you a headache on your head, okay? Just secure enough so that when you walk in and your wig get caught in a branch, it don't come off your head. <laughs> um... So I use these elastic bands. I either use one inch or one and a half inch, depending on um, what Walmart has in stock. 
and how I sew it I use this uh, nylon thread because nylon thread is less likely to for me it's less likely to pop and less likely to not so this is the easiest thread for me to sew with and I just use the, the um, standard curved needle um, so let's talk about how I package the wigs because I think I touched on everything um, on my site you're gonna right now you might see think wigs that I probably worn one time for filming or wigs that I just made uh, you can also request a custom made wig so you can say hey Kwana you know I want to send you some hair um, you know I got four bundles of per Peruvian straight or Cambodian Cambodian <laughs> Cambodian natural wave and I want you you know to sew me a wig so can I send it to you and um, so since you already supplied the hair you have to also supply the closure um, then it'll take a large amount off of your your total um, my labor will range from one to two hundred dollars so if the hair that I supply is 185 in the in my labor I add a hundred so that's how the wig becomes two hundred eighty five dollars because one I supplied the hair that's worth hundred and eighty five dollars and then I sat down and made the wig I supplied the dome caps and all that good stuff so yeah um I think it's very reasonable reasonably priced I've seen a uh, very very expensive human hair wigs I've seen synthetic hair wigs you know <laughs> range from a hundred dollars hundred and twenty dollars so I think I'm being very fair with the pricing and my mom came up let me go back to that in a second um i will also make synthetic units right now on the site you'll see synthetic units is three of them it's a teal one a silver and pink one and a silver and black one all three of those actually sold out so thank you guys so much for the support um so when you see those those are commercially made those are not made by me so they're in the non-custom category so you know I didn't make them I didn't customize them I might have customized one or two if I've worn it one time but for the most part yeah they're almost brand new uh, the silver and black one was definitely brand new I hadn't worn it I had purchased a silver and black one off of eBay and I liked it so much that I purchased a second one but I never wore the second one I just so I put it up for sale um so and I you can send me like beauty supply store here if you want to send me that and get a wig made because I do plan on doing synthetic wigs as well because you know not everybody can afford a human hair wig um, so I will make synthetic units that will probably range between 30 and 85 dollars or something like that so keep that in mind that I am trying to reach out to um, a lot of people and you know be what am I trying to say you guys know I'm trying to look out for everybody uh, also, I wanted to talk about, okay, the layaway. My mom came up with a genius idea. She was like, you should let people put your wigs on layaway. I was like, hmm. She was like, yeah, Anissi told me, you know. I'm like, smart idea. She's like, yeah, she was like, they already put hair on layaway. You know, they can pay in installments. I was like, that's kind of genius. <laughs> so the way my layaway would work is you have a 90-day period to pay for your whole entire wig. Once your wig is paid in full, you will... Um, once your wig is paid in full, you know, you can, it'll be shipped out. So how it'll go, say I have a wig up, you know, and for instance, this wig I just showed you guys to, I always feel like I got to show it <laughs> for you to understand. So say this wig right here, it goes for $285, which is actually the price of it. Um, lace closure, virgin Brazilian curly hair. Uh, so $285 is not bad for a 24 inch wig, okay? So, you're like, damn, I really want that wig, but I really ain't got $300 on me right now, all right? $285. So, I'm going to have to, uh, somehow, I'm going to have to get this wig, right? <laughs> I don't know when she's going to make another curly wig like that. So, for some, you can, uh, if you don't see the option up there to pay in installments, definitely email me. Because the way my store is set up, I can't. I don't want to put uh, pay for it in full and then pay for it in installments as an option. So, I mean, I will if I have to, but the way they do it, they will say that two is in stock when really one is in stock. So I don't want to make a mistake and have somebody order one and then somebody right behind them order another one. And I'm like, you know, so uh, 
yeah so if you don't see the option up there where it say pay an installment and three installments just email me and i'll just make it available for you or i just make a coupon code where you can get it you know for a certain price and then i'll send you an invoice via paypal for the remainder of your um your total uh it's gonna be 90 day period so one payment per month so that wig is 285 dollars so that'll be 95 dollars per month simple as that um once you say say you pay 95 in july 95 in august 95 in september all right sorry for that got some hair on me <laughs> 95 in september as soon as you make that last payment i will have your wig shipped out to you nobody else will be able to get your wig because it will stay out of stock and i will have it put up in a box for you speaking of boxes i'm about to grab mine and show you because i love it <laughs> um so yeah uh like i said three months 90 day period three payments once you pay that last one you good if you for however change your mind and don't want the wig anymore um you're gonna have to you will get a refund but it will be minus a restock fee uh because i missed out on money because i took the wig off the site for you so it will be a restock fee of 50 to 75 dollars ranging on how much the wife the wife how much the wig is worth let me show you my packaging so for the first 25 wigs sold minus the synthetic ones only custom wigs will get my custom boxes but um because the synthetic ones are so small and um what do i want to say compact it won't have this because this actually has more than just you know a wig in it um so for the custom wigs it's going to be different for the synthetic wigs it's going to come in probably just a box and um an invoice and a business card but for my custom wigs for the first 25 custom wigs, this will be the box that it arrives in. It's a pretty long box. I um, want to make sure you guys can see that because I don't want anything to fall out. And it goes ombre from pink to blue on the sides. We have some purple. I absolutely love these boxes and I know I'm not going to be able to find them again because I feel like they were made for maybe, I don't know, some cotton candy carnival or something. So inside, all right. So inside you'll have the wig. I don't want anything to fall out. This is actually a customer's order that's going out tomorrow. Um, so thank you, Teresa. Uh, so I have the wig inside of a lunch lady hairnet. You guys know. I don't know why I call it that, but I do. And let me show you. So I do put it in a hairnet. All right. And it is secure. And then the lace is still on. All right, keep that in mind. <laughs> and then, so for these wigs, you guys know I use virgin hair um, for the custom ones. Uh, so if the hair company sends like a gift inside of their package and when they send the bundles, I'll just probably give it to you. So you might get lashes, you might get flexi rides, you might get, you know, anything. <laughs> Um, and then I'll send an invoice with my business card attached. I'm actually covering up her address so you can't see. So it just has my business card attached to the invoice. And okay, so stepdaddy just came home from work and kind of uh, distracted me. So if you hear some noise in the back, it's because daddy's home. So the kids get excited. <laughs> All right. Um, darn it. I was showing you guys the invoice on the bottom of the invoice you'll have i like to have written hand invoices because i want you guys you know to know this is really it's really a personal touch so i say thank you tell you how much it costs and i give you some quick tips on washing it and stuff like that and then um i was also mentioning if the hair bundles come with like hair care instructions like a pamphlet like this i'll also put that in your box and I'll probably just create my own instructions and go to FedEx or Staples or something and get them printed out so each box can have it. Um, it includes my business card. I couldn't really show you on the invoice because I didn't want to show her address. So it says the Quanta Whites Customs. It has all my information for you, you know, my email, all that good stuff. 
gosh, they're super loud. All right. So just as you know, I do custom wigs, art, shirts, graphics, plus size blogger, artist, and creator. My email, my phone number, and at the bottom it says, you know, if you need anything, let me know. And the back is just like this, and it says, I aspire to inspire, which is one of my favorite quotes. Um, always will be. Also, if the bundles come with a baggie, you will get that because I think that's perfect. And I might say this a hundred times this year. Perfect for wig storage. I have all of my wigs in either this or a Ziploc box. Ziploc bag. <sighs> I'm exhausted. I either have my wigs in this type of bag or a Ziploc bag. Or... Um, if you get fancy clothes, you know, I shop at like, I get stuff from Mignor and Ace Vogue and Zigu, which is not really fancy, but they're like kind of boutiques and they put them in little bags like this. That's clear and it has a zipper on it. Oh, I put my wigs in that and that's it. And you'll have my sticker right here, which you can't see on camera. So I'm going to show you. Also, what I just ordered was um, a bunch of wig brushes. I ordered uh, a lot off of eBay so I can put one in each custom made wig box. And that is what's going to be in it. And I might order some more things in bulk to let you guys go. Like maybe some lip gloss or, you know, something like that. Just to throw in it so you can have extra goodies. So, last thing is... It will be shipped in a priority mail USPS box. And this one is actually too small. As you can see, it goes above the rim a little bit. So I just ordered some more. So it's going to be a longer box just like this. And you'll receive it within three to five days. So thank you guys for joining. I think I touched on everything with the custom wigs and how they're made and packaged. So I'll be back with some more videos. I'm gonna go change wigs so I don't look the same in every one. Thank you.